Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to, to explain a little bit, uh, well, to answer a question that has been that been posted on, on my other channel, which is in Romanian, but it's, it's quite important because many patients actually ask this. So basically, what, is there a reason why someone would take an extra inhaler that's similar to the inhaler they're already taking to get a better benefit? So for example, the question went uh, along the lines of someone was uh, suffering with as asthma and they were on a Foster Next Inhaler inhaler, which is a combination inhaler. It contains a corticosteroid, an anti-inflammatory drug, and a bronchodilator, uh, a medication that opens up the airways. So basically it's a combination inhaler. It helps control the disease and also give you some symptomatic benefit. Now, the person was asking whether it would be possible to take another inhaler similar to serotide in addition to that one to get a better benefit, to breathe even better. And actually that's a big, big question because it doesn't really make sense. So if you are on an inhaler that contains a combination of a corticosteroid and a bronchodilator, which is many, many, most of the inhalers really on the market, if you add a different inhaler in the mix that has the same sort of combination of a different corticosteroid but a different bronchodilator, basically you're just taking four medications instead of two. Two of these medications, they basically do the same thing. So basically, you are only adding more medications in the mix that may not give you more benefit because it's basically taking more, more of the same, really. So the logical advice I would have is basically to discuss with your doctor and maybe see whether you would need a higher dose of the same inhaler that you're taking. This is probably the first step to consider, but I wouldn't start taking a higher dose just because you're not feeling better because there could be other issues at play. So first thing I would discuss with your doctor is to check whether you're actually taking the inhaler you've been prescribed correctly. That's the main thing. Most, most patients actually don't take their inhalers in the optimum way. It's just because it's a medical device. It's something that you need to learn to practice how to use optimally. So don't be too worried if you're having trouble with your inhaler, if you don't know how to take it correctly. Discuss with your doctor. Take the inhaler with you to your medical appointment. Show it to your doctor. Show them how you're actually taking a dose right there in the medic's office. And then they can give you advice on how to improve your technique in order to get the most benefit out of that inhaler you're already prescribed. The next step is probably that your, your doctor will need to check whether you're taking the right inhaler for the right condition. Sometimes lung conditions can look the same. So someone who is diagnosed with asthma may actually have COPD or the other way around. And the doctor needs more information. You need to go to follow-up appointments to make sure that the disease is actually behaving as the disease that was initially diagnosed. So sometimes your diagnosis may change based on new information that emerges. So it's important to keep in touch with your doctor to make sure you're on the, the, you have the right diagnosis and you have the right inhaler for that diagnosis. So that's actually something quite important. And then if you are taking the inhaler correctly for the right inhaler, the right technique, the right diagnosis, then if you're really not improving, if you're not feeling any better, probably the next step that your doctor will take would be to increase the dose of the same inhaler. So for example, you would double the dose under your doctor's advice, of course. And if that doesn't work, then maybe it's a question of moving on to a different inhaler, maybe of the same class, so the same sort of combination of treatments, but basically a different device that maybe works better in your case. But that's the logical step rather than mixing and matching inhalers and trying to get a better effect, because I think that's not the logical way of going about it. And then obviously, if that doesn't work, if the only inhaler that you're taking with the right dose doesn't work, then the next step might be for your doctor to maybe add another inhaler in the mix, but usually it won't be the same combination. It would be maybe a third medication that's different uh, to the ones that are contained in the combination inhaler you're taking. So for example, if you're taking, let's say, Symbicort, right? And you're not getting enough benefit. Your doctor has doubled the dose. You're taking it correctly. They may consider adding something like Spiriva in the mix, which is a third type of medication that may actually act synergistically with the ones that you already have. I hope this video was helpful to clarify things, but as always, please go to your doctor, go for follow-ups, consult them regularly, and I think you'll get the most benefit out of your inhalers, which are actually great medications to take and they have very few side effects. They give you a lot of benefit in terms of symptoms, but you need to actually take them correctly and be on the right one. 
All the best. See you in the next videos.